Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys know, um, this is Garner Confidential. I am the Garner in the Confidential. And I am doing the new YouTuber tag. So I have my handy dandy computer. Her name is Blueberry. And when I change her case, she'll have a new name. And she's my Mac. And I have some questions um, here to answer for you guys. So you can get to know me. All right, here we go. My name is Crystal and I am, yeah, Crystal, you can call me Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, and my YouTube name is Garner Confidential. I'm from Mitchellville, Maryland, um, the DMV, and I'm a military spouse, so I, but I'm living in the Hampton Roads area right now, and I like it. such a random one um I'm five four so I'm short and I love it fun size we're cute it's easy to see in concert crowds and stuff so it's so easy just to kind of like <laughs> be short it sucks when you shop though it's when you shop and things are so much longer than you and you don't know how to hem or sew or do anything that domestic then it's just like okay lord can you give me some height can I get at least two inches? I would have loved to be five six. Just saying. I have two brothers and a sister, and I have two sister in laws. And my older brother's name is Christopher, and my sister is Christina. And then I'm Crystal, and my little brother is Corey. So we all have the same initials. This kind of my first official channel but I've had a channel before it was just for putting up dancing videos for when I was um dancing a lot in Maryland um I would always have like the rehearsals and things like that on there or just dance videos that I would like but I've never posted anything um so yeah this is my like first official channel with filming and editing and things like that um and like self-promotion in a sense but I've always YouTube on the brain. <laughs> Garner Confidential is about being frugally alluring, if that makes sense. Um, I am a military spouse, and just being able to share where I'm at um, when it comes to interior design, when it comes to fashion, when it comes to just lifestyle things. Um, my walk with God, my journey with anxiety, um, and depression and the insecurities that I've dealt with, um, from the things that I'm confident in to my artwork to the jewelry that I make, um, just the, uh, every little inch of my life, I want to be able to share that with you guys. And Garner, if I were to break down the name, Garner is my last name. It's my mate, not my maiden name. It's my married name. And confidential is strictly just about the secrets of my life. Um, a lot of times when someone's walking on the street, they're not going to tell you every single little thing about them. There's a, a, a hidden secret about people. Um, you don't know something until you ask. You don't know something until they share it. And I want to be able to share those things with you guys. So, I really started this channel for like home styling and fashion and that was it. But then I just thought about it and was just like, I think I should branch out. I started this channel, how many, maybe almost a year ago? I think, no, no. Yep, almost a year ago I started this channel and I had no idea what I was doing. I had no kind of direction. And just being able to take a break, I've been able to kind of say, okay, I want my channel to be a lifestyle channel. I want you to be able to see my lifestyle. And I'll be adding in those different things um, just as I keep posting, just as I keep growing, just as you grow with me and come along this journey with me, I'll be able to go from there. So Garner Confidentials, the secrets to living a frugal and alluring lifestyle. That's me.
I believe that the ladies and if there's gentlemen out there who want to subscribe, hey, come on in. Um, you guys should subscribe to my channel. Not just because I'm a new YouTuber, but because why not? All the time we subscribe to channels that we see that interest us and or we see that just kind of seems cool or clean or crisp. You know, there's so many people who are so bright with their approaches and I just want to make sure that when you look at my channel, you leave with something. You leave with a glimpse of hope. You leave with a glimpse of, ooh, I can do that. Oh, I can make that or oh, where did she get that from? I want to get that or wow, that was really encouraging. I want you to leave with something positive. I want you to leave with something that can make you feel happy. Happiness is just the quick emotion that comes and goes. But for me, I want the joy that I have um, to shine. And I want, even when I'm having a bad day, to be able to share that with you, I want to be able to just live freely. And for people who just want to live and just have an eye for fashion, who have a high, an eye for design, who love to shop, because I am a shopping connoisseur, um, and people who love just being young and being bright and lively, subscribe to my channel. Let's walk through this together. You know, I want to start vlogging. That's a that's another video for another time. Um, but yeah, I want to share that with you. I want you to feel like you're a part of my life. I want us to be friends. I want us to be friends. I've never had a lot of friends. I never grew up with a lot of friends. And I want you to feel like you have a friend at this channel. So, hi, I'm Crystal, and I want to be your friend. You should subscribe. Let's hang out. I see myself in five years being successful with wherever I'm at, you know? I see myself being a mom. I'm not a mom yet. I have no kids. My husband and I um, don't have kids yet, but that's something that we're striving for. I'm hoping and praying that I have at least one by then. Um, I'm hoping to be alive and healthy and well. I'm hoping that I'll be financially stable. I'm hoping that my YouTube channel will grow, that I'll have fresh content that can just keep growing and keep lighting up in a way that I never would expect. Um, I'm just hoping for growth. I'm hoping to be more confident. I'm hoping that I can, if I'm still the size that I am now, because that's where my insecurities lie with my size, then I can be the best me that God created me to be at that moment or period. Um, I want to be able to just be confident. That's always in my dream. And I am so much better than where I was years ago. Like I, oh, y'all, it was bad. And I'm, I want to be financially stable. I want to be building people, building people's homes. I want to be building up people's interior design um, confidence. I want them to be able to say, oh, I can design that. Oh, I can put that gallery wall together. I can, let me call on Crystal. She can help me. I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to have artwork selling continuously. That would be amazing. I love to draw. I love to be able to to do creative things. I just pray that I'm alive, well, stable, and stable in all ways. And um, just have my walk with God be even stronger than it is now. And that my marriage be even, um, get stronger and be stronger than it is now. Like, that's what I want. I'm also praying for smaller boobs. But that, oh God, I should. Oh my God. Yeah, I just want things to be stable. I want things to be right where God wants them to be. Wherever God has me in five years, it's so hard to answer that because I don't want to be like, yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. And then it doesn't even add up to what God wants for me. So if I can just keep walking boldly, if I can keep being strong, if I can keep relying on God, 
I can have my babies, even if I don't have any of the things that I named, I just hope that God has me where I need to be and that I can be obedient enough to be there in those five years from now. So. One day I was sitting in um sitting in my house and this was a year ago. <laughs> this is when this was my first video that I made. I randomly was just like, I wanna make a lookbook. I wanna just try, I just wanna do it. So I went in my closet, picked out some outfits. My husband's a videographer. Um, so I was just like, babe, can you grab my camera and just Tell me doing a video can you do that for me he was just like yeah so I was living in a townhome then in Hampton and right next to my townhouse I just recorded a video and it was the random it was my very first video I'll link it um, I'll link it above and you'll see that it was so cute I thought it was cute it has the most views on my channel right now now like I was popping a year ago or nothing, but it got, it, people saw it and I was kind of amazed. Um, and it doesn't have like the most views like all these other people, but I thought that it was pretty great for where I was. And it was just a thought, it was just an idea. I have lots of ideas and it really, it was really awesome. It just turned out to be really, really great. So I was excited. Okay, so I have a list of my favorite YouTubers, um, and I have YouTube on my computer so I don't mess up anybody's name, because that would suck, it just is. Um, I was able to collab with uh, two of my favorites. I love their work, they're great. Supple Chic TV and Curvology, I'll also have that video linked right here. Um, you can check out that lookbook. It was a fall lookbook and I was able to do it with them and it was so great. It was so much fun. They're super sweet, um, very professional, really awesome and it was my first collab. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I'd definitely do that again, definitely. <laughs> but um, my other favorites would be Miss Naturally Mary. She's amazing, love her. She um, does like lifestyle videos too. She's a Christian, she's a believer. Um, so that's great. Love her. I'll definitely have her channel linked down below. I love Gay Babe TV, my favorites, you guys. All of the people that I list will be linked down below, so I don't have to keep repeating it. But um, I love Gay Babe TV. I love, um, what is her name? Kill Amazing. Um, she's pretty cool, pretty great. And um, I love the Hearts and Cake 90. I love her style, yo. I love Natural Joy. She's really nice. I mean, she's really great. And she sells the best wigs. I feel like her wig site is always popping and people get stuff so quickly. I miss out all the time. <laughs> all the time. But um, it's okay, because she's so great. Naturally Fashionable, I really adore. Um, naturally fashionable she's so funny and sassy y'all like i love it um she makes being plus size look like it's the best decision ever and she has such great tips and tricks and i thank you for being so cute and fabulous and just being yourself if you ever see this video if you ever see it um and there is another one, and I'm over here tripping because I can't remember her name. Oh, I like Crystal Michelle. Awkward enough, not awkward, but oddly enough, my name is Crystal Michelle with one L, and her name is Crystal Michelle with two L's. I will have her channel linked down below as well. She's so great. I think her channels are so chill. Her channel is so chill, and it just makes me like, I don't know, it just makes me happy. Like. We have the same name and that's how it caught my attention and then I looked at her videos and I was just like, yeah, I like this channel. I know there's more, but those are like my top favorites that I have that had like watch laters and favorites and likes and all that stuff. It has, <laughs> those are the most, the top ones. I do like Raven Elise TV too. She has cute videos. I love her daughter. I love her like I know her, but um, 
she has a cute channel. I love her home decor style. It's very cute, very blush gold and minty. I love it. It's cute. And um, I can just appreciate. I like when she does her vlogs. I think they're so cute. They're just cute. So, yeah. And I think that's all for who I really. Oh, no. How could I forget? That's what I forgot. The Daily Davidsons. I look at my vlogs like they're reality TV and I notice when my favorite vloggers aren't vlogging and I'm just like who do you think you are to not vlog your life it's like nah but seriously some people feel that way these people have real lives as well and Trendy K I watch her too she's really really cool her, she has great hair um, reviews if you like wigs and things like that I tried to add in lifestyle vloggers along with hair wig vloggers along with um some of like the fashionistas as well. Um, I know there's a couple that I'm missing. Don't charge me to my heart. Um, charge it to old age. <laughs> I'm pretty much already explained that. Um, so I'm just gonna hope that you can remember. You can rewind. And there you go. <laughs> The best thing about YouTube would be the sense of freedom that you have to be as creatively charged as you want to be. Um, you can literally post a video of you doing nothing but wiggling your toes and there will be somebody out there who will actually look and like it and want to see more toe wiggling, which is kind of a random example, but it's all I had. Um, but you have the freedom to get up here and start a channel. You can be shameless. Shameless Maya is my girl. Okay, that's the one, one of the ones I forgot. But um, you can be shameless and you can just be you. I love that about YouTube. Um, you don't need anybody's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be who you are, who God's created you to be. And that is like the coolest thing ever. It's my favorite. I'd say that the worst thing about YouTube is just people being mean like the haters the arguing in the comments people can be very opinionated and that was a concern of mine when it came to being on youtube i wasn't sure if i could handle everybody talking and just being ratchet and ridiculous thinking that they know my life and they're in it but understanding that once you put yourself in the spotlight once you put yourself on social media you are open to the ideas and thoughts of just random people and what they say matters to them. It doesn't have to matter to me and I just have to remember who I am, who I was created to be. And if it doesn't apply to me, I can just keep moving or press delete because you can say whatever you want. It shouldn't really be that way, but it is for people to just be mean all the time it's literally no point so that would be the worst thing about YouTube people just being nasty and ridiculous and rude I could go on but I'll stop <laughs> my goals are to definitely be an encourager my goals are to definitely be someone that you can look up to um, even for the people who are older than me for me to be someone you can look up to, um, and not in my own right or my own will, but I think the world needs more women standing together, um, and me being African American, I think that's important. Being a black woman, I definitely think more black women should step up more when it comes to being a positive light, because and that's why I love the people like Gay Babe TV, and I love, you know, the daily Davidsons and but naturally fashionable um I think you know they have a positive like you know shameless Maya she's very positive there's so many women out there who are stepping up and we're just regular people living regular lives and then YouTube finds out that you're pretty great and you get you, you become like this YouTube star and live your life and I want to be able to not just become some YouTube star but to be an encourager 
make you feel like your life matters because it does make you feel like your interests matter because they do and if I can just share my walk with Christ share my life as a believer with someone then that's the even better part that's the even bigger picture um and I just that's that's like my passion I want to be able to do that I want to be able to share my um relationship with Christ with you guys so we can grow together and you just never know what happens I think that if you are a new YouTuber, you want to become a YouTuber, you're on YouTube, nothing's really happening, do your research. Find out what your what your thing is. Be bold, have fun, take time when it comes to the ideas that you have, take time when it comes to the the way you produce your video, make sure you have good lighting. I'm using natural sunlight today because it's the best. Um, it's getting a little darker, but it'll be fine. But um, <laughs> definitely try to just be authentic, be genuine. Even if you're producing a video that is literally searched on YouTube millions of times, be authentic with your approach and have a blast. You know reach out to people on YouTube you know there are youtubers out there that aren't snobby and just stuck up there are some really nice ones who will give you good advice you know get the right equipment invest in your dream if this is something you want to do long term um, clearly I'm still a new youtuber but um, when I'm not new to pursuing dreams and doing research on things and making sure that I'm setting myself up for greatness and you just gotta do what you gotta do use what you have and when you get something better use that and then give back and do videos like this to encourage people and just be open for anything to happen because you never know what can happen so yeah <laughs> but um that's all I have for um, the new YouTuber tag, questions 14, 15 questions, but I really answered one of them twice. But um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I had fun making it and definitely come check out my channel again. You guys are amazing. I love you already and I hope that you love me too, or at least like me, I mean, come on. And definitely, um, what are your favorite things about YouTube? Let me know in the comments and I would definitely love for you to like this video and subscribe your life away because I'm going to have some great content coming for you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.